Hello everyone, the doctor is back in for another Transformers review. Uh, today I'm going to bring to you uh, Revenge of the Fallen Ramjet. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen Ramjet is a Walmart exclusive sold here in the States. Uh, it is now the fifth version of this toy. Uh, the first one being uh, the 2007 movie Starscream mold, um, which Starscream was repainted as the G1 version Starscream with a different head mold as a Target exclusive. Then there was a uh, uh, Thundercracker uh, version of this mold um, which has the same head mold as the G1 Starscream version and then a Walmart exclusive Skywarp uh, uh, with that head mold as well and now we have um, uh, this is Ramjet which is a Walmart exclusive and it has the original Starscream head mold which you can sort of so, see there uh, you know this toy obviously it has the same uh, downfalls as the other ones um, a lot of kibble on the on the on the undercarriage uh, which was not liked by many people um, there's not really um, a good landing gear they got two wheels here and there's these two wheels here which activate the spinning mechanism which fire the 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 missiles that I don't have loaded the missiles are here there's six of them um, if you roll this on the ground uh, it will fire those missiles. Uh, one little feature uh, is that there's this little white uh, piece on either side. Uh, in, in this fashion, um, you can stand, uh, you can lay, sit the, the jet down, um, and if you move it, 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 it keeps it, the, the wheels from turning so that if you have your missiles loaded, they don't just fire everywhere. Um, and to, just to, to get that activated, you just push these uh, down. And now the wheels will activate the when it's rolled on the ground. Uh, as far as the paint scheme on this one, uh, it's pretty good. It's 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 almost spot on to uh, the original Ramjet, uh, except for the actual you know design of the toy. Obviously, uh, the red is a little bit off, though. I can I can tell you uh, it is slightly off from the original. The original Ramjet was sort of more maroon. This is more of a sort of a reddish color. The, the, the cockpit does not open, unfortunately, if you do, it, it's part of the transformation, it lifts this whole piece up, um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, other features, you can store your missiles in these little uh, things on the side, um, they, all six of them will fit in, uh, in into these slots, which I won't do right now, um, if you don't want to keep them loaded, um, you know, while you're storing them, which I think is kind of kind of neat. So on with the uh, transformation of this guy. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, sort of unhinge these wings on either side. Uh, spread the, the arms out to the sides. And then take the where the cockpit is. Uh, lift that piece. you got to unpeg it from the nose of the plane like so, and then lift that up and put it like that. Uh, now we're going to turn the figure around and you can see that the legs are there. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up these little the, one of these little panels here. Actually we're going to split these out a little bit to the side. That'll make some clearance for these panels to open up all the way. And then you can take the legs, they're sort of pegged in in the back, uh, lift them up and then flip them down and around and you have to un open up that black piece too for them to completely flip around and then you're going to close this panel back up so we're going to do the same thing on this side we're going to first we're going to un open up that little black panel there then we're going to open this little door like so going to unpeg the leg lift it it's a little tight, but lift it straight up and then flip it around like so. 
then close the panel back up. Then you're going to completely open these out to the sides and then we can turn him around and then you can adjust the feet to rotate them forward and flip the feet open. We're going to take the nose of the plane and there's this little black piece. You're going to flip it this way that reveals a little peg that will peg into uh, that, that port back there. So just like that. And now we're pretty much there. We're just going to adjust uh, all this, uh, these fins of the plane and everything. I find it easiest if we can get these two sort of um, finagled. Sometimes they pop off, they pop back on, finagled out of the way there. Then we're going to fold the wings this way and it's kind of no matter what you do, some of these kind of just get in the way and then fold them back. So fold it like that and back like that. They don't peg in or anything, they just fold back there. Then we're going to take these, um, sort of rotate them out to the sides, out of the way, and then these in the back, I kind of just put in that fashion. Um, and then there's this little flap here you're going to fold down to reveal his head. And then you can kind of hide that behind the, the chest plate there. Now this came down. And then the last thing that we'll do last thing we'll do is just take these shoulders and just fold them up like that on either side. And there you have Ramjet in robot mode and he has these little uh, uh, finger like things if you want to call them that that will open up here uh, he doesn't technically have hands as most people know um, and don't like about this toy and then you can load up the the missiles and all all there as well uh, and they will fire obviously so um, I do like this they do look kinda cool uh, sitting uh, you know all the seekers kinda next to each other I, I probably can't highly recommend this guy though um, even if, if you can still even get them I don't even think they're available anymore but when they originally came out, they were way overpriced, at least in my opinion. Uh, they were way overpriced, and uh, because of that, and because of the overuse of the mold, uh, they kind of dropped in price and went on clearance, and that's when I picked them up. Uh, him and Skywarp, I think I got both of them for like 30 bucks or less. So, if you're if you're a Seeker fan, you might want to pick this one up. Um, if you can get it at a good deal, you might want to pick this guy up. Uh, but otherwise, I can't highly recommend it. If you got one of these molds, it's probably good enough. So, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, one other thing is the, there's pretty cool light piping, which you probably can't see there in the eyes. Um, but that works pretty well. Um, but but it's, it's okay. It's not the greatest. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Dr. Prime. Thanks for watching. The Doctor is out.